Hey guys, Ellie Showstack here. Hope you are doing well. So a question that I get asked very, very often is, do I have a soulmate? So in the program that I put together, Find the Right One, which is a coaching program for singles, one of the major components of the program is learning a new way of finding love for yourself that does not involve finding your soulmate. So what we need to do is we need to take a look at what society views as a soulmate, and then we need to find what we can take from those words and apply it to our own lives so that we can be successful in finding it. Okay, so if you look at the word soul, which many people have different definitions for, right? So you could define it as your essence. You can define it as the energy that the universe or God or whatever you do or do not believe in is inside you prior to getting this body and will be with you when you leave this earth. Let's, so let's just assume that's a concept that you believe in. So that's what we could say the soul is. And then if you say that a mate, right? So a mate is a friend. A mate is someone who you can hang out with and spend time with. So you have these two concepts. You have the soul, which is something that uh, you, again, either do or do not believe in, but let's just say that you have the belief that the soul is something that was with you before you got here in this body and something that's with you after. And then you have the word mate, which is a friend, someone that you can count on, someone that you can hang out with, someone that you can talk with. So those two words, you definitely, again, if you believe in the concept of a soul, you definitely have. So the answer to that is yes, you can have a soulmate if that's what your concept of a soulmate is. Again, having this energy inside you, the essence of who you are, and having a friend. Now, that's something that you can have many, 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 many times throughout your life here on this earth. You could have it multiple times. Okay? So that, that's actually quite a good thing right? Because if you're someone who's single for years or you're someone who's divorced and you happen to have been with someone, again, if you view soulmate as your soul, the energy inside you, and mate, someone you hang out with, who gets along with you, who you can spend time with, who has your back and is there for you, yes, you can have it. And then sometimes the mate part doesn't work out, okay? Now, Here's where society, and I would say 90% of people, get the word soulmate wrong and where it can cause you massive amounts of suffering. So if you view your soulmate not as the soul being the energy and the mate being a friend, but if you view it as your partner who completes your soul, then you are screwed because... What that means, in essence, is that your soul is not complete until it finds this other soul to be complete with. So take a look at the pressure that puts on a person who is single in trying to find the right one. What it's basically saying is that I am not complete in my life until I have this other human being come along and make me whole, right? I am not complete. I am not happy. I am not fulfilled until I have this other soul take the puzzle of my life, which is incomplete, and make it whole. So that's where you're screwed. 
Because if you have that perception of the word soulmate, then what you are saying is that your happiness of who you are, your enhancement of your life, is basically incomplete until you have this other human being come along and complete you. So I'd like to share with you why that's wrong on many, many levels and why the people who go through my Find the Right One coaching program are finding such great success in their love lives by not believing in that concept of soulmate. So again, for those of you just joining, if you view the word soulmate as soul being some type of energy inside you and mate being a friend and you can bond with them, super. But if you view it like the majority of the world views the word soulmate as my completion, then I'm going to explain to you why that creates unhappiness in relationships, why that breaks up marriages, and why many, many people suffer in the world of dating. So first, let's talk about how the word soulmate will screw you over when it comes to prospecting for another person to be with. Okay. You want to be in a relationship with someone else. We all do. We all want to share our lives with someone. We all want to be with someone else. We all want to love somebody. We all want to go ahead and, and truly find somebody to spend our lives with. But if you are prospecting in the world of dating and you have this concept in the back of your head that there is somebody out there who can complete me, then the pressure you're going to put on to finding this person, right, is tremendous. And it puts a tremendous amount of stress and pressure on your brain when you're prospecting. And it will also limit you in your dating options when you prospect because you are going to be thinking that the person who can complete you must come from a certain group of people, must come from a certain neighborhood, must come from a certain society, right? Because if they're going to complete me, it has to be someone who's similar to me. And if it's not someone who's similar to me, then I'm not going to be able to find that soulmate, right? Okay. So firstly, if you go into the prospecting phase of dating with that concept in the back of your head, it's going to limit your options and it's going to put a tremendous amount of pressure on you. That's number one. Now let's talk about how dating, being in the beginnings of a relationship, will screw you over if you have this concept in the back of your head of, there is somebody out there who can complete me and make me whole. If you are in the beginning of a relationship, you're going out on a date or you, you're just beginning to date somebody, and the person says something which your mind judges as to be wrong, so you judge this person now as being wrong. Now, everything else about this person you like, okay? You're attracted to them. Um, they have good family values. You like the way that they um, interact with you. You like the way that they treat you. But since you have in your brain, I always like to use sunglasses, okay? So let's say you, you're, you're dating, right? And you're now viewing this date through the lenses of, I need my soulmate, I need my soulmate. So you're looking, these are the soulmate sunglasses, soulmate, soulmate, so you're dating. They say something wrong and you're like, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, not my soulmate, not my soulmate, boom, out. Why? Because they said something that I judge to be wrong 
And because they are supposed to complete me, they can't complete me and have an opinion like that. So I am going to break up this relationship, right? Now, again, since you are going into the dating phase with the belief that there is somebody out there for you who is going to complete you, you are screwed because the pressure that you're putting upon yourself and this other person is tremendous, not fair, and untrue, right? So now we've shown you how when you prospect for people, the word soulmate is going to mess you over. When you're dating somebody, you're gonna be quick to judge and, and quick to say that this person's not for me because they have one or two things about them that they believe that could not possibly fit into my concept of completing me. So I therefore have to get rid of them. Now let's talk about being in a relationship with someone and how this concept of you complete me will screw you over. So if you believe that somebody else completes you and that somebody else can make you happy. So think about that, right? When the person is giving to you and when the person is kind to you and when the person is nice to you, then you feel good. But if the person is not nice to you in the relationship or you get into a fight, which by the way, you and I both know, that's what happens in relationships. People have conflict. Okay, you are going to feel so bad about yourself because how could my soulmate be treating me this way? And now look how I feel about myself. I feel unloved. I feel uncared for. I feel hurt. I feel mistreated and yes all those things are true but they hurt doubly and that's why the relationship will break up the relationship will break up because you are now taking your happiness and you are taking your mm -hmm. sense of completion and you're putting it into the other person's hands so when you believe in this concept of a soulmate, remember, if you just view it as someone who gets you and someone who is fun to hang out with, you can have many of those, right? But if you view it as the ultimate partner, the ultimate completion, it is going to cause you suffering when you prospect, when you date, and when you are actually in the relationship. And that's why in my coaching program that I have for singles who have been single for years or who are divorced, when they understand that there is a new way to view love and there is a way where they can actually experience relationships, not from this outdated, stupid concept of you complete me, but I am me, you are you, I can be confident and love myself for who I am, and you can love yourself for who you are, then you go into the dating world with the tools and the skill set and the mind frame that this is not there with the pressure of you complete me, but this is there with hey let's enjoy ourselves let's see what's out there let's see what let's see what we're going to do can we have a good time great we don't have a good time okay next so when i see a client who just after one week of joining the program has the light bulbs going off in her mind and she says to me this program is priceless 
because I now feel so much more confident. I feel so much better about going out with people. I mean, think about it, right? Your mind tries to protect you from pain. Your mind doesn't want you to experience pain. But right now, if I'm a betting man, I am sure that you view relationships and dating as painful and filled with frustration, right? So what your mind is going to try to do is it's going to try to protect you from that pain. But think about it. If you go into the dating world with the mind frame that this is painful, you most likely will be putting up many, many boxes around yourself in order to protect you from getting into something negative or experiencing pain, which therefore means that you cannot be yourself. So I want you to understand that you need to understand in order for you to fully, not only just date, but also keep a relationship, you need to know why you fell into all of these situations prior. And you also need to go ahead and say, wow, now that I get this, and I understand why things did not work out for me, I can go ahead and get into something new. So if you have any thoughts about this, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. And I would love to uh, touch base with you and see what you think. So have an awesome day and um, happy dating, my friends. Enjoy your soulmate in the proper way.